Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hockey and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the California Golden Bears, taking on a team from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Gamecocks will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. They challenge this crowd to bring the energy, and I'd say they're doing that. Direct snap. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's a statement by the defense. Offense is trying to get physical. They're running power. They're pulling the backside guard, and you blow the play up in the backfield for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Mendoza. Coming after it. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Makes his connection. Turns it on at midfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I'm a big believer in taking shots early in the game and being aggressive and showing my team I got confidence in them. Let's go make plays. First drive. Already taking shots down the field. Nice job, nice pitch, nice catch. Catch in the middle, it's Ott. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picked up the first down. And how about taking a big chunk out of this defense on the opening drive? And with the speed they have on the perimeter, Reese, no doubt. They want to come out here and test this secondary, test these DBs, and they know they've got the QB with the arm talent to get the ball there. That's a great start for this offense. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Snap it to the back. Pick up of one. It's down at the 11. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third down, he drops to throw. Got his man quickly. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game get himself established you make a couple throws you lead your offense down the field you score right off the bat could not have been a better start for that qb and the point after is good about to kick it away after scoring the touchdown and he's coming out of the end zone Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Sanders. Open space at the 25. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. 
you know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot. But that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge game. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Scanning the field, it's Sellers. And he intercepts it. Got room on the return. The 30. He's at the 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Golden Bears. Number 15. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement and they really need to get it going here Jesse that's right the opponent they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate offensively for this unit they've been slow and struggling they need an explosive play to wake themselves up yeah and it's just the first quarter so it's not the end of the world you've seen slow starts but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He wants to throw. Looking left. A strike downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They'll give it to the back. They get him stopped at the 26, but boy, that was an attitude run. A pickup of six. The Gamecocks headed quickly to the line. Wants to throw. It's Sellers. He's got the tight end. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. Got some room to run. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Makes the catch. It's Matthews. You don't have to make things complicated. You see zone, you throw the hitch, you pick up some positive yardage. Yes, Reese, that's easy when my guy's really fast and quick. Those guys in the slot get it to them after the catch is their specialty can make some magic happen. Finds his man. It's Porter. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. From the 22 on first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. 
trying to get to it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Using his legs, it's up. They'll put the brakes on him at the 21, give him a yard. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. They'll go right back to it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Missed the field goal, but it's still a two-touchdown lead of 14. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win it, David. They've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you can conserve it or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Just willed his way for a couple after the 35. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to throw, it's Sellers. A little screen to the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Quickly complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Gonna run it, it's Sanders. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker, you can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Grabbed over the middle, it's Simon. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and you add the answer to the test right now. The Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. The offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing them off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. On second down, they'll take to the air. They'll run the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. He's got his man. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Gamecock. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. 
They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. That's going to wrap it up here in the first half. Stay tuned. Second half, not too far away. And the Golden Bears will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments, but they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you are this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. On fourth down, looking to pass. And the incomplete pass lets his defense get the ball back for its own great field position. And listen, obviously, you know, at this area of the field, it's a question, it's a debate whether or not you go for that on fourth down. At the end of the day, though, I think this coach believes in his own playmakers, and he's got guys on offense that he feels can make a play in that type of situation, and he's got confidence in him. That time, they weren't able to come up with it, I'm curious to see what this guy does if they're in a similar situation as this game moves on. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, give on the inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively getting downhill and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. Not a chance. Missed it. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, he can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Going to run it. It's Sanders. Sports across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of five. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Back to throw, it's Sellers. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long, different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls in. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. First and 
The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better. Off he goes. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. They'll throw it on first down. And it's picked off. Taking it the other way. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. This time it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy. Security gets you a touchdown. And it's no good. Had a chance to tie it and couldn't do it. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do have it, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. It's a draw. At the 40, there he goes. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Beautiful play call offensively at the perfect time. In that situation, the defense obviously expecting pass, so they sneak the draw in and gash the defense. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Looking for a man, it's Mendoza. And the defense is all over the quarterback and down he goes. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, man. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. On the move, it's Sanders. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23.
a third down play to get the quarter started. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Gamecocks want to move quickly. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Talk about saving your best when the moment is the biggest. Nice job in the fourth quarter. Been grinding all day. Made the biggest run of the day when it counted the most. Picked up the first down in a pretty close ball game. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. You gotta have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. They'll ride the hot hand. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Here's the handoff. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Looking to help the kicker out on third down from here, it would be a 59-yard attempt. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Get the quarterback off his spot. Make him flush from the pocket. Put a good hit on him. Check, check, check. You want to do everything you can to make the QB uncomfortable. The defense did all three of those on this play and finished it off with a nice lick, nice physical play on the quarterback. This time he's got it. You he's lucky down, motherfucker. But he's got a first down on the play. That's a great example of a receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Hands it off. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. 
on the run. It's Sanders. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Looking to pass, it's Sellers. Got his man downfield. And after the pickup gets to the sidelines to stop the clock and keep this drive going as they try to save themselves late. Precision execution there to work the sidelines, pick up the first down and stop the clock. Yeah, great job by the offense. You've got to understand the situation. The clock is the enemy late in the ballgame. Got to have a score. Like you said, Reese, work the outer part of the field so I can catch the football and get out of bounds. Turning to the running oh. game on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Come on, Chomp. Chomp. Called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. Oh, nigga. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Come on! He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. But and now on fourth down, they will put it. I hope that shit's squiggling like a motherfucker. But save them with this foot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. There's a lot of celebration. Well, you better glad we hit your home, and I missed those two field goals. I ain't got no timeout. Damn. Come on, man. Want to get to the house, dog. This from inside the five. Get to me. Nice job executing all of the assignments. I ain't put a stop no. Return at the 22. This shit going to suck, bro. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job. Dang it. Damn, good game to hit. Motherfucker. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Dude, that shit. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Hey. Coach might spit them out wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense... Great job making the interception, and you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be knocked down. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. No time to feel sorry for yourself here, Jesse. There's still a chance, but you've got to get it going now. No doubt. Two possession game at this point, right, David? Not a lot of time left, so execution has to be at a premium here. Yeah, and I probably want to go fast. I want to throw the football. I don't know how many possessions I got left. I got to make them all count. And the incompletion brings up a second down. To the air, it's Mendoza. Fire into the right, complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. 
And that's why this running back's a big weapon here, right? Because not only can he run the ball, but he can catch it too. Even running flat routes when you know the ball's going to be in the air a long way, he can adjust to it, make something good happen after the catch. And quite honestly, they need him because they've thrown a couple of picks now in this game. They've got to find a way to get this guy more involved. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Here's a throw downfield late. Hicks, he dropped it. This is dropped. Incomplete pass. Hicks. Hicks. This nigga dropped the fucking ball. You know, I don't got no time out for the drop the fucking ball. I, mean, I can't win. I steal. Oh, wide open, man. Nice job playing the deep ball, staying deep, and not getting the big ball. He dropped it again. You done for. Block me. Block me. Sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Hurry up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Going back to the well. Another. Dude, this throw. game is ass. And it's picked off for the third time today. Mm. And he's down, and this game will end. Good game. Up. I hate I got to put that L on the wall. Wow. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Uh, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make